This is part 3 of our video lesson about hydrocarbons. Then again, um, hydrocarbons have two types, saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Saturated hydrocarbons are also called alkane. Alkanes have single bond and ends with ANE. For the unsaturated hydrocarbons, we have alkene. Alkene has double bond and ends with ENE. Another example of unsaturated hydrocarbons is alkyne. Alkyne has triple bond and ends with Y and E. In this video, we will discuss all about alkynes. The general formula of alkynes is CnH2n-2. Example, we have 1 butane. The number 1 indicates the location of the triple bond. And we have a prefix but. But means four carbon atoms. We will use the general formula of alkynes. We will substitute four. We will have C4H6. For the hydrogen atoms, we will multiply two times four. Then we have 8 minus 2 equals 6. Another example, 1 pentine. Again, the number indicates the location of the triple bond. It has a prefix pent. Pent means 5 carbon atoms. We will substitute 5. C5. For the hydrogen atoms, we have 2 times 5 is equal to 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. Let's try to identify the name of the structural formula of alkynes. We will follow the rules of IUPAC First step, uh, we will identify the longest chain But in our example, we only have one chain Next, we have to count the number of carbon atoms We have 5 carbon atoms We will use the prefix pent and the uh, structural formula has a triple bond therefore it is an alkyne uh, for alkyne we will use the suffix yne second step uh, we're going to locate the triple bond and uh, to identify the location of the triple bond we have to count the carbon atoms we can start our counting from this side or this side but in rule number two we're going to start numbering the carbon atoms from the end nearest the triple bond so we will start from the left side one two three four and five rule three the smaller of the two numbers designating the carbon atoms of the triple bond is used as the triple bond locator as you can see the triple bond is located between second carbon atom and the third carbon atom we will choose the smaller number which is two for the condensed formula 
on the first carbon atom, we have three hydrogen atoms. So, this will be CH3. Second carbon atom, we only have C, no hydrogen atoms, and triple bond. Another carbon atom. And uh, for the fourth carbon atom, it has two hydrogen atoms. And for the last one, it has three hydrogen atoms. This is the condensed formula of 2-pentine. Let's have another example. Again, uh, we're going to identify the number of carbon atoms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 carbon atoms. Therefore, we will use the prefix hept. And uh, in the structural formula, there is a triple bond. Therefore, this is an alkyne. We will use the suffix yne. Next step, uh, we're going to identify the location of the triple bond by assigning numbers to the carbon atoms. We can start our numbering from this side or from this side. But according to rule number 2, we have to start our counting from the end nearest to the triple bond. So we will start our numbering here from the right side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The triple bond is located between the third carbon atom and the fourth carbon atom. Now, uh, we have to choose the smaller number, which is 3. So, the name of this structural formula is 3-heptine. And this is the condensed formula. Uh, we have exemptions here. We do not need to put a number before ethyne and propyne because compounds with a single or double spots for the triple bond don't require the number. Okay. Next, uh, we're going to draw the structural formula of 2-hexane. Um, first step, we're going to identify the number of carbon atoms. We have hex. Hex means 6 carbon atoms. Next step, um, identify what kind of hydrocarbon is this. It ends with Y and E. Therefore, this is an alkyne. And alkynes have triple bond. And the triple bond is located in the second carbon atom. You can start counting from this side. Or this side. I will start counting from the left side. It's up to you if you want to um, start your counting from the right side or from the left side. And uh, the triple bond is located uh, in the second carbon atom. So we will choose 2 and 3. Okay, We will not choose 1 and 2 because again in rule number 2, um, we will choose the smaller number. So you have to put the triple bond between 2 and 3. Then we will write single bonds between the carbon atoms. Take note, carbon needs 4 bonds only to become stable. For the first carbon atom, it has 1 bond. So we will add 3 more. And then... Let's put a hydrogen atom. 
and carbon atom has four bonds already. So, it is stable. Uh, for the third carbon atom, it has four bonds already. So, it is stable. Next. For the next carbon atom, it needs two more. To complete the octet. Then, let's put hydrogen atoms. Next carbon atom, it has two bonds. So, we will add two more. Then, put a hydrogen atom. And for the last carbon atom, it has two bonds. So, we will add two more. Then, put hydrogen atoms. This is the structural formula of 2-hexane.